Hi, welcome to my Kilonotes tutorial. Recently, Kilonotes updated many new features on Android, so I created this detailed tutorial. Part 1. You can download Kilonotes on Google Play. It's available on tablet or phone. For this video, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S8. Here is the Kilonotes homepage, where you'll find these icons. I'll tell you about them one by one. First, let's create a new notebook. Kilonotes offers a variety of aesthetic covers. You can change the direction of the page with this top left button. You also can customize the cover by adding your image. Now you can select from different templates and page options. There are six color options available for the inner page. Once you select an aesthetic paper style, you can kickstart your journaling or note-taking journey. Don't forget to name your new notebook. There are tons of tools available on Kilonotes. Let me show you the secrets of these features. By tapping the page icon, you can add templates wherever you want. There are different types of templates for different functions like planning, habit tracking, reading, and more. Just tap it to add a page. This is the pen tool icon. Here, you can set your pen color and size. Different combinations produce different writing effects. You can select colors from the palette or use the color picker to extract colors from the page. You can even enter a hex code to create your own color combination. To delete a color, simply long press it and click X. You can also adjust the thickness of your pen for different effects. Long pressing it can customize the pen size. Turning on these two switches can help you draw straight lines and regular shapes. Try drawing a line and holding it for a second or two. Watch as it automatically straightens. The Auto Shape feature will assist you in drawing standard shapes. Filling in shapes with different colors is easy too. Next is the Highlighter tool. You can also set your five favorite color and three pen size. The highlighter can also be used to draw straight lines if you need to erase any content. The eraser tool is next to the highlighter tool. This is the lasso tool. This tool is very powerful, so I'll talk about it later. Next one is image tool. You can insert and edit images with it. This rectangle is the crop button which can cut images normally. You can adjust the transparency here. This freehand tool lets you crop out specific parts. Aside from the image button, you can also easily insert images from this sidebar. If you want to remove the background from an image, you can click Picture Cutout then Transparent Background. To find the edited photos, tap this smiley icon and find your photo under My Materials. By the way, the Selection and Cutout button also has a similar function. When you have multiple images like this, you can adjust the layers by moving the order of the images. Or you can lock the images together to ensure they can't be moved. If you made too much and want to delete a sticker, tap the right icon to delete it. Another interesting feature is this section is paper cutting. To use it, first choose your preferred paper. Experiment with different folding methods to achieve various paper cutting effects. Create your own paper cutting artwork by drawing different shapes. Click next to generate your unique paper cutting design. It's beautiful, right? You can also find many stickers under the material library section. Download and use the ones you like. Feel free to use these stickers to design your own journal. Moving on, the T icon refers to the text tool. Tap this to insert a text box. Writing in the text box will automatically turn your handwriting to text. But make sure your device supports handwriting to text. For Samsung, you can turn on this function in the settings. To adjust text size and color, go to the sidebar. You can also choose your font style here. If you can't find a font you like, you can upload your own fonts. You'll find your newly added font in the import font list. 
Killa Notes for Android also lets you adjust paragraph alignment. Next, this tool is called the Doodle Pen, which is a unique Killa Notes feature. This allows you to create your own graffiti or washi tape to decorate your pages. Lastly, this is Flashcard Tool. I will discuss this in more detail in the next part. Part 2. If you want to read textbooks, click this icon to import files. Now that the file is imported, you can click this category button to view all the pages. These three dots at the bottom let you add a page, copy the page, clear the page, or delete the page. Back to this top section. This icon on the right is the outline button. It lets you view the outline of the content and jump to pages. You can also create an outline yourself by clicking on this button. Now, let me show you some features I use a lot. Now let's talk about the lasso tool. This is a powerful tool that lets you do so many things. Try tapping on the button then encircle some content on the page. You'll see several options. First is the option to take a screenshot. Next is search, which lets you find content in Killa Notes or on the internet. So convenient. When you're reading content in a foreign language, you can use the lasso tool to help you translate it. You can also use it to change the size or color of your handwritten notes. It's also great when copying, cutting, and pasting objects. Even you can delete it by using lasso tool. Remember the outline feature I discussed earlier? You can also use the lasso tool to add an outline. Just input the title, set the level, then finally link it to the page. Do you like using flashcards to study? Check out this card button to use it. Simply drag and select the content you wish to turn into a card. You can assign different colors and set your own labels to categorize and distinguish your cards. To organize these labels, click on the top left gear button. You can manage these tags, rearrange their order, or even delete them. If you want to view all your cards at once, click on this button. I like this sound recording feature the most. When using it for the first time, you'll be asked to grant app recording permissions. Once this is done, you'll be able to record audio. You can control the playback speed, or fast forward. You can also mark key points in the recording. Rename different audios or delete it. If you want to take more notes, adjust margin to add more paper space. You can customize the color and size of the area. Now you have more space to take notes. Last but not the least, would you like to try using AI for note-taking? Turn on the AI lab and then ask the AI for instant answers. The AI can answer questions on any subject for you or provide some suggestions. Wait for the AI to generate an answer, then you can ask again. You can copy the answer here. Would you like to have an AI learning assistant? Once you're done with your notes, click these three dots to view more options. Here, you can rename your notebook if needed to share your notes. You can export either export all pages or just select the pages you need. Is easy. Let's go back to the home page. First is this store icon. Here, you can find the member center where you can purchase a Killa Notes subscription and enjoy membership benefits. After purchasing, you can download these cute templates for use. There are many sheets of matching paper in the notebook that you can use. Aside from the note, you can also find a dedicated card page on the homepage where you can check all your flashcards. You can distinguish flashcards by different colors or labels, or simply search for the contents of the card. Is convenient, right? Press the plus button and you can create your own flashcard. Enter the card title to distinguish between different cards. The content of the card can be text, images, and handwriting. I often make image cards to add diagrams from my textbook. Sometimes I also quickly jot down some notes casually. Now you get a new flashcard. Going back, I'll teach you how to back up your notebooks. It's important to back up your notes frequently. In case your device is lost or damaged, the backup process may take some time, depending on the size of your data. Sometimes, when I have similar notes on the same topic, 
I use the merge notes function to can combine two or more separate notes into a single note. Now you are able to view several notes within a single notebook. You can also organize notebooks into different folders. Just drag notebooks into each other, and then it automatically creates a folder. Here, you can also add the folder name. Finally, let me tell you a secret. If you click about us, you can find a hidden space. This is where I put my private notes. I love this because I can set a password to protect my notes from others. Now your notes are safe and secured. So that's it for this video. If you want a more detailed tutorial, check out my other videos or leave me a comment.